Lynn's on the road uh, yeah. now. This is your first time here in Evansville, right? Yeah, I was actually talking that about with all the girls. Um, since I was injured my freshman year, I didn't do all of this traveling. So this is kind of fun to experience it this year and to travel and just kind of hang out with the team is really fun. And this is one of the more bigger trips this season that we've traveled to. So um, it's fun spending time with the girls and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I think this trip is the longest trip we take. I mean, yeah. we used to, we had one year, the first year we went to Cincinnati to play Northern Kentucky oh, and yeah. then to Bellarmine. And that was longer. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so what have you been doing in all this time? Oh my gosh. Well, catching up on sleep is a good thing because sometimes if you don't sleep on the bus, you always sleep at the hotel. Um, and then just kind of hang out with the girls and bonding all of us together. You know, this is really that time when we get to spend time together off the court but you know when we're in, at school we have studies and stuff like that to do so it's kind of fun just to be with one another you know yeah yeah Lindsay mccoy is our guest here and uh, one of the things i think has been a highlight so far you guys on the trip to evansville playing some kind of a wacky game what is that <laughs> lots it's of heads yelling up. And s- heads, heads up. up explain how that works okay so you have um one person holds the iPad and it says you know there's categories so you can do celebrities or movies and it says a movie on the screen (laughs) and all your teammates have to describe it to you but you can't see the word and so they're just describing it to you any way they can with with um, people that are in the movie or you know quotes or something like that and if you get it then you tilt the iPad down and if you can't then you pass it so you see how many you can get in a minute and it's really intense as you can tell because we're yelling on the bus and everything so it's really fun who's good at it Honestly, I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good you at it. You are? Okay. The <laughs> one thing I can get is is entertainment and, and culture and stuff like that. Right. For some reason, I know a lot of actors and actresses. So Who cheats at it is what I want to know. You know, I haven't caught anyone yet, okay. but I'll keep my eyes open. All right, good <laughs> enough. Lindsay McCoy is uh, with us, and uh, I know communications and something uh-huh. is in your future. What do you want to do? Yeah. Um, well, recently I went to an advertising workshop in downtown Kansas City, and um, I heard this woman speak about account management, um, and so that really appealed to me. So if I work for some type of advertising agency, um, and the account manager is more like a liaison between a client and the agency. So uh, hearing this woman speak, um, she works for a company called Sandbox downtown, and, and she just works for the agency, and her talking about everything she does on a daily basis how you know it's never the same thing but it's always challenging really appealed to me so well that's kind of in my sights right now but we'll see where life takes me well basketball is kind of a performing art in one right. sense but right. you're active in other performing arts you want to tell us about that yes so i sing the national anthem lots. a lot lots and lots of times not just for basketball now you know that started my freshman year um and I did it kind of out of the blue because I didn't really know my role on the team being injured. And so I asked coach one day, said, you know, is it okay if I sing the anthem for one game? And she was like, sure. Didn't even ask if if I could sing or wanted to hear me sing. So that was kind of funny. But, you know, it worked out and I do it for a lot of the basketball games, but also other sporting events, which is just really fun for me. Well, what gets me is that you're able to sing the national anthem before a game in which you're going to play. I mean, (laughs) seconds before the tip off. Yeah, it's I don't know. I've been doing it so many times that it's. It doesn't seem weird or or there's not a lot of pressure. And obviously, you know, singing for my team is really fun, but especially when my family comes and watches or, you know, and friends in the stand, I don't know. It's really fun. A fun thing for me to do. Do you look around a little bit and see what the reaction is to your singing? Do you look at people's faces while you're singing? I don't. Actually, people ask me because I don't even really think about the lyrics. I kind of just stare at the flag or at one point on the wall, and I just kind of sing it and I don't even I sometimes ask uh, my teammates after I'm like I didn't mess up the words right because I kind of forget what I'm singing but I've done it so many times that it's just like second major so well if, yeah. you, if you have not heard Lindsay McCoy sing the national <laughs> anthem you're missing out because she's very good at it and she's our guest here at halftime um, I was going to ask you too uh, in the performance arts areas there mm-hmm. something you'd like to do you haven't been able to do you know not really I've <laughs> Not really. I uh, Well, this past year, I auditioned to sing the anthem for the Royals baseball team, and I actually made it to the final round. They called me back, and I got to audition on Kauffman Stadium's right. field. Um, so that would be something really fun if I actually got that would be really fun. But other than that, at Jewel, not really. I, I would like to do the choir, but I think that would just be too much on my plate. So that's why I, I like to get my performing fixed by, sure. by singing the anthem. But, yeah, that's about it. it I keep it simple, you know. <laughs> well, let's uh, switch to basketball for a second. Yes. I asked you earlier this season, because you missed your freshman year, your first year at Jewel, right. uh, you had a medical red shirt. Are you considering yourself a sophomore in basketball or a junior? Or what? how are you um, terming yourself? You know, I don't really know. I, I I know that I will be eligible to have that fifth year, but I'm kind of deciding when the time comes when I'll decide on whether or not um, I want to take that fifth year. So at this point, I'm just keeping my mind open. So I don't really think of myself as sophomore or junior. I guess more junior just because that's my year in school, but 
technically on the court, I am right. still a sophomore, so I guess both. Okay. Both. Okay. Well, then I'll keep referring to you as both. Yes. I, your, your injury, are you fully mm-hmm. over it? Yes. Sometimes I do have issues with tendonitis, which I developed um, kind of the summer after so I tore my ACL in the fall of my freshman year. And that, that coming summer, I kind of developed some tendonitis, which is a risk when you get patellar surgery. But um, I did PT for that. And since then, I don't really have issues. Sometimes when cold weather comes around, it gets a little achy or long bus rides. You know, I just got to be sure to stretch and everything. But so far, no problems, which is really, really great. What would you say the strength of your game is right now? I would say my quickness. Um, I know that sometimes I do play a, m- a million miles an hour, but I think that I can bring a new energy to the game, and, and I I think that being quick is really much of a strength of mine because I'm not a super strong dribbler, but I'm okay with that. I really like passing fast and seeing the court and just getting the game moving quickly because that's how I've always played, and I think that that's, that's what I bring to the team is, is a, a new energy. So. Our, our guest is Lindsay McCoy. One thing I've noticed is you really enjoy getting to the three-point line and shooting from there. And I'm, I do. You, Tim Crone and I have had this conversation about, is it because maybe you can shoot over the top of people at six feet plus? I think so. But, I, you know, I never was a shooter in high school. I actually was always the post player. So, you know, being a shooter was never really a, a thing for me until I came to college and I really kind of worked on it. And so now it's almost just exciting. And I find myself being more open at the three-point line, so I think, why not? I'll, I'll take these sure. shots, yeah. and, and I want to get better at that, so I think the only way to get better at it is to, to do that in games, and, and hopefully they go in, so I'll keep shooting, but yeah. Uh, you know, I think guys would say uh, if they're listed at 6'2", well, maybe I'm 6'3 or 6'4". <laughs> Women tend to go the other direction if you're 6'2". Yeah. Uh, why is that? And do you do you that? Know, I... I don't know. I mean, you'd think me being really tall, I'd want to. Do, I want to stay, behind, you know, underneath yeah. the basket and, and do the little layups. But for some reason, even when I'm inside, I would rather pass the ball out and give my teammate a shot on the right. outside, or um, you know, something like that. I don't know. I've never been the really a, a post player. Even though I've played inside, I've never been that definite post player that makes those shots underneath. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I like to shoot outside definitely a lot more. But what I'm talking about is that we've got you listed at six one. Okay. Yes. Are you first of all? Are you six one? Um, with basketball shoes on, yes. Okay, but do you, you know, I've, I've known a six-foot basketball player who didn't mm-hmm. want to be referred to as six feet tall. She wanted to be 5'12". Oh, okay, mm, does that bother you? Can, you? No, no. You can, I love my height. I will own my height. You can, yes, you can say I'm 6'1". Yes, I love that. All right, good deal. Hey, finally, uh, tell us a little bit about your family, where you're from, yes. the high school, all that. Um, I'm from St. Louis. I went to Eureka High School. Um, I have two brothers and one sister. I'm the youngest of four, although the second tallest in the family. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I have a really supportive family. All my family lives back in St. Louis. Um, my, I, my sister works in... Um, um, in retail, she's a, uh, a manager of a store, and my brother graduated college, um, and then my other brother is still graduating. He was to UMSL, which is actually in our conference, and they're both working, and, and my parents either come to every game or listen to every game, so um, they're just really supportive, and we have four dogs, which we're a big dog family, so shout out to those guys, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure your parents are proud of all of their children, but yes. you, you're special, you're talented. It's <laughs> well, always, thank you. always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for spending time. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. Lindsay McCoy is our guest here on halftime uh, during the Southern Indiana game. And again, thank you very much. We'll be back in a moment.